بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دی کانسر اکیڈمی بائی آئیڈیا سولیوشن ان دس سیشن وی ول ڈپلائے اور اے ایس پی ڈاٹ نیٹ ویب سائٹ آن آئی آئی ایس سو لیٹس ایس سٹارٹ ایٹ فرسٹ آف آل یو ول ہیو ٹو انسٹال آئی آئی ایس آئی آلریڈی ہیو انسٹالڈ آئی آئی ایس آن مائی ونڈوز سو make sure that you have installed successfully IIS so if you didn't have uh, installed IIS so you need to uh, search windows feature turn windows feature on or off just click it here you will find uh, an option IIS you just have to check and it will automatically install your IIS here is as you can see I'm showing you this okay and you need to check each and everything that I have selected over here first of all you need to go to the worldwide web service and application development feature as you can see I have checked .NET extensibility 4.7 ASP ASP.NET 4.7 and this IS API extension filter server side include in application development feature you need to check all these that I have and in common HTTP feature you need to select each and everything just uh, by skipping the last web dev publishing in health and diagnostic I have checked only two HTTP login and tracing you need to make sure that if Uh, you already have uh, you you should uh, check all these uh, features that I have checked if uh, you forget or you make any mistake then your website won't be deployed on IIS it will continuously show some kind of an error okay in the performance feature I have checked both dynamic content and static content both and in the last one the security I have checked only one thing that is request filtering okay If you make any mistake in this work in checking all the features that I have checked then your website will not be shown on IIS okay then the next step should you must have a website so let's just create a demo website and we'll deploy it on IIS so first of all open IIS internet information service I already have two websites running on this uh, the f default website is already here and this one is created by me recently okay first of all I will click on this web application that I recently deployed before making this video okay First of all I will show you that how this website look it's just a template of a MVC website okay as you can see this is our website okay I make few changes for just testing purpose go to the index page and here I will write my name okay and let's just refresh this application okay perfect now it's time to deploy this site on IIS so let's just go back to the project and stop okay our next step will be just right click on this web application too and here is an op uh, option publish option you need to click on public publish and we have so many option to deploy uh, but this time I will select the 
folder option uh, actually I already have selected the folder option okay and it's showing me the target uh, location has been released publish so I will just click on publish and it's it will take few minutes to publish your site on this location okay as you can see build publish build succeeded this small site so it completed in few seconds so you need to go to this targeted uh, location so I will right click on this open folder in file explorer and we'll go to the bin folder and release and here is the publish okay I need to copy all the these file and folders in a separate folder and I'm creating the folder on desktop I'm just making a new directory concept Academy and pasted all the file and folder over here. Okay, fine. Now it's time to go to the IIS and right click on the site, add a new website, and the website name will be okay. The concept academy. I'm copying it and listing.com and um, I will select, prefer to select port 881 because 80 is already assigned on default website and here I need to select a physical path from where the website is running so I will click on this okay as you see that I have uh, created a folder MS concept academy and I will click on this okay okay my site is ready now so I will just click on the browse button browse this website and as per my information my website should okay server address could not be found okay server IP address could not be found so I need to stop this Okay, come to this uh, advanced setting. Okay, not there. Basic settings. Okay, binding. I need to click on binding. Select this, edit. And I'm re removing this host name temporarily and click OK. Now it will run on local host. Browse. Okay, this site cannot be reached okay just because I did not have to start the website so first of all start the website and now check okay perfectly done the website is deployed but uh, it's showing some kind of error and uh, this is a great chance that you will have to face few errors but uh, just note this error code if you have the same error code then you need to perform the same step that I'm going to do if you have the different error code then you should uh, Google or comment I will reply you the solution okay the solution of this error code is uh, you need to go to the advanced setting and uh, okay now edit permissions security and make sure that you have given full access to the system and uh, I'm going to add a new okay click on advance click find now and here you need to select two things that is IIS user and I user okay fine and click OK, OK, and and start your website now. As expected, 
it is running on localhost port 81 and this is my website and I have successfully deployed it on IIS okay guys that's all for this video thank you for watching and please like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, you can find uh, a playlist related to deployment I will create a new uh, playlist related to web deployment on IIS Azure or any other platform as I have uh, explained in the past about uh, somi.com free domain and uh, on uh, how to publish ASP.NET web application on Azure so I will create a separate uh, playlist for these three videos so hope you like the video and please do subscribe to my channel and share in your among uh, share in your friend circle thank you Allah